As the investigation continues into the medical examiner's office, there are several pieces for the Texas Rangers to consider. Our Lee Doherty spoke with an attorney earlier who breaks down legally what some of these doctors and potentially county officials could be facing if these allegations are found to be true. Leah, what did you find out? Attorney Ben Webb says this investigation not only involves Dr. Andrews, Dr. Matches and NAG, but potentially county commissioners who were involved in bringing NAG to Lubbock. Sine Graves is filing a lawsuit after she says she was wrongfully terminated after NAG fired her without technically having the authority to do so. NAAG is not Lubbock County. These employees are Lubbock County employees. And the allegation is that Lubbock County is allowing NAAG to fire these folks uh, in violation of the contract they have with Lubbock County. Not only does she want her job back. She's asking for um, financial relief, for monetary damages, uh, for a number of things, for the loss of employment, for mental anguish, from some of the things that she alleges that she witnessed. Attorney Webb says the Texas Rangers will have to investigate Graves' civil matter on top of the criminal allegations against the doctors and NAG. Certain um, laws in the state of Texas about what you can and can't do with the corpse and who can and can't do it. So if there were some findings that anybody who was not licensed to or who was not um, acting in a professional manner as far as their scope of employment or acting within that scope of employment. There could be criminal liability. They make certain findings that these people have violated Texas law um, and there's an actual code section that's abuse of a corpse. If they find that they've done certain things, they could be looking at potential state jail time, which would include up to two years in the state jail facility. There's fines involved, could be up to a $10,000 fine. Not only are the Texas Rangers looking into the doctors, but potentially the county commissioner's office as well. The officials as well as um, highly compensated professionals who you would hope would come in and do a job and you've entrusted them to do it. Um, I guess time will tell whether or not they've done that um, the way we expect them to. Webb says we're looking at at least a year to conclude the investigation, but he anticipates there's a lot more to uncover. But just from a interested observer, I think we're in for um, a lot more days with a lot more fireworks. Webb also told me that this investigation could potentially get slowed down if people decide to lawyer up, which is a very likely possibility. Now, as we find out new details, we will make sure to keep you updated at everythinglubbock.com.